Triple X, a film most commonly known for tricking search engines into thinking you're looking for naughty content, is a 2002 action film released by Columbia Pictures. The movie is directed by Rob Cohen and stars Vin Diesel as Xander Cage, an extreme sports professional who's recruited to become a top secret agent for the NSA. Both had previously collaborated for the original Fast and Furious film, and the Triple X films are very similar in tone to the latter entries of the FNF series. My personal favorite moment is when Vin Diesel blows up a mountain and intentionally causes an avalanche to kill the bad guys chasing him. Yeah. Anyway, the Triple X franchise went on to have two more films, a short film, a pretty banger soundtrack, and, like most movie franchises of the 2000s, a tie-in video game. For the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, seriously, Vin Diesel action on your GBA. There's nothing really special about it, just your average side-scrolling action game, some beat-em-up levels, and some dirt bike levels. Outside of this, there were no other games released for the franchise until around 2004, when there was about to be. Presumably, around the time of the second film's development, British-based developer Warthog Games, known for X2, Wolverine's Revenge, and some Looney Tunes games, were working on a triple X game for the original Xbox. At some point, this game was obviously cancelled and never saw the light of day outside of this demo, of course. The build you're about to see is running on a modified OG Xbox recorded using an HDMI capture device and was acquired off of Hidden Palace, released by Lemurboy12. The short demo is actually pretty polished for what it is. As you can see, here we have a title screen and navigating over to the extras menu, we have some concept art images. Included is also a trailer for the first film. I'll be with you guys in a minute. I noticed you got three X's on your neck. That's appropriate since you're looking. Okay, agents, we're approaching the drop point. Stand by. The other characters in the game refer to the protagonist as X, and it's unknown who this agent actually is, as he remains masked during the entire demo. Could have been Xander Cage, Darius Stone, or an entirely new character. You can see this first playable bit, there's a skydiving sequence here. And after another cutscene, moving on to the meat of the demo, you can see this FBS portion. It reminds me a lot of the James Bond games by EA during the early 2000s. Oh, <laughs> 
Finally, there's a bomb defusing minigame, which I have to admit I failed like twice because I had no idea what I was doing at first, but it looks as if the game was going to include several little short minigames and playable pieces like these outside of the shooting to really emphasize the secret agent aspect of Triple X. Gentle X, too much force will cause the bomb to death. Binary charge. This shouldn't be too hard, X. We need the vault leader. Okay. We need to find the wire with the lowest voltage and put it into it. After that, we've got one last skydiving section before ending the demo. And that's pretty much everything to see in a nutshell. It should be worth noting that I was also able to get this working on a hacked compatibility Xbox 360 as well. So if you're interested in it for yourself, definitely go for it. As a fan of the Triple X franchise, I would have loved to see this turn to a full game or at least find out more about the title and why it was canceled. But at least until we get a fourth film, it will give us something to play in the meantime. Thanks for watching.